Uh, hello, my name is Carlos Herrera. I work for Australian Control Engineering. I've been doing uh, control systems um, since what, 1999. Well, we had to create some reports in Power BI and uh, we didn't come across a couple of little issues, unexpected issues. So the data, uh, the data is coming from uh, GeoSCADA, from the GeoSCADA server. Well, the, the challenge was actually getting the data to Power BI. But what we found is that we couldn't load the tables. We could see the tables in Power BI, but they wouldn't load. In the end, we actually found a workaround. And essentially, it's because Power BI supports uh, class inheritance or table inheritance, but it's only a specific type of inheritance, semantic inheritance. Uh, whereas GeoSCADA, it's a full-blown system, it's state-of-the-art, it, it supports table inheritance. And what we believe is that Power BI couldn't figure out what the parent tables were. And there, are, there are two two advantages, I guess. One of them is more efficient because we only select the desired um, columns. And the other thing is we can refresh it faster. Because if you load the tables themselves, there is a limit as to how fast you can refresh the tables. This, uh, for us, is a bit of extra work because we have to prepare customized tables. But ultimately, it does have an advantage for the customer. A more efficient, a leaner system, a more responsive system. Uh, it's quite uh, fulfilling to actually get the customer happy, get them exactly what they want. It's a wide variety of knowledge because you have to understand uh, databases. You have to understand how databases uh, run behind the scenes. You also have to understand how SCADA systems run behind the scenes. You, you need to understand how the data is organized. And you need to understand how data transfers uh, or queries are optimized. It, it is a diverse set of uh, skills. So we tried quite a few things and the results we were getting were a little bit uh, contradicting. We tried different versions of Power BI. Eventually, I think we managed to figure out what was going on. And once we figured it out, we went trying to verify the solutions against what other people had found. And what we found, they haven't solved it yet. I don't think people realize why, the reason why they cannot solve it. Well, it's essentially GeoSCADA, it's a, a database with a front end, but the, the way that the tables are organized is extremely efficient. That's why it can store so much data and that's why it's so responsive to queries, because it's optimized for, uh, for retrieving large amounts of data. I think even Power BI would um, have a problem refreshing or retrieving the data that GeoSCADA retrieves. I mean, the, the queries from GeoSCADA are fast. The historical queries, it's incredible how fast they are. So in this case, Power BI is just a, a front end for, for GeoSCADA. Mm -hmm. all, the hard, all the heavy lifting is actually being done, but GeoSCADA, it's actually faster to do it that way. Australian Control Engineering, we have a lot of experience in diverse aspects of control systems, from presentation to data acquisition, uh, system optimization, from networking, radios, control itself. We have plenty of experience in a wide different fields of, con of the control industry. Thank you for watching this video by Australian Control Engineering, ACE. If you found our project insightful, and want to see more innovative solutions in SCADA and control systems, don't forget to like, subscribe, so you never miss an update from us. Share this video to help spread the word about sustainable engineering solutions. For more information, visit our website. Join us at ACE, where technology meets sustainability.